be a little thrown by the title of this video, but uh, yeah, it's kind of a late birthday video. Birthday was back in September, but whenever you sign up for TFAW.com, they always send you a $5 credit when your birthday comes around. So, decided to spend it and why was that? It? What are a few other things and it expires in 30 days from your birthday. So, down in September, came a little late. It's open now, see what it is, a few things, so let's get to it, see what it is. This is interesting from my usual unboxings from TFAW because usually those are pre-orders. Now this is all stuff I ordered and knew about. One of, the, a few of the things are, oh, actually, hold up, did I make the mistake or, oh, I made that mistake. Well, that's a shame. Oh well. I just noticed the uh, error I made on here. I double ordered something. Anyways, I must have clicked. It wasn't, thought it was added to the cart, clicked again. Yeah. Anyways, these are all things I got to choose and a few of the things I were on my watch list. I just hadn't gotten around ordering because I missed them when they first came out or I saw them on the Nick and Dent section, you know, different things. So let's see what I got. First up is the item I was talking about. I double ordered, it was on my my watch list and I had wanted to order it before but I missed out it is Hotline Miami Wildlife number one and I thought the cover of the artwork looked freaking badass you know it's so nice I accidentally bought it twice so you know one obviously when I'm able to get it signed I don't know what I'll do with the other one I'll probably trade it away or something who knows that's what I tend to do with extra comics I trade them away whenever possible I don't really, you know, deal in comics, like, I collect them. You know, who knows? Maybe. We'll see what happens. Set that aside. Alright, up next was, ooh, was this little, uh, manga thing, or little mini comic, which was really, really cheap. It was like a dollar, I think. I can't remember how much it was. How much was it? Let's see what the invoice says. I don't know. Surprising the invoice does not say the price. But I remember the whole total shipment was like 15 bucks, including shipping. You know, so that's not bad, all things considered. So this is Magical Beatdown Volume 1. Uh, oh, okay, originally it was $6, and I believe I spent like $80 on it by Silver Sprocket, whatever that label is. You know, and looking at it, it's, I remember the color scheme was very similar to the outside cover of Hotline Miami, it was like blues and a few pinks here and there. be a nice little thing to take with me whenever I go on a trip somewhere like whenever I go to my comic conventions and I want to have something physical to read on me okay I believe yeah this was supposed to be uh, like cutesy violence like magical princess meets kill bill as you see this thing looks like a cross between Deadpool and Sailor Moon yeah look at that that's why it's called Magical Beatdown. It seems to be a mashup of the Magical Girl genre with uh, something super violent, maybe like Luther Strode, <laughs> if you know what that is. That looks like that's actually pretty fun. And next up, this was in the Nick and Dent section, and I got this super cheap, I think it was like two or three dollars. The Hotline Miami must have been, what, double the price? And, okay, I see why now, but this was Iron Man, Armor Wars, and trade paperback. Originally it was like twelve sixty four, and I think I got it for like maybe five. But yeah, there's a crease like right here. You can't see it too well. If I turn the light, you can see, there you go. You can see that dent right there. No, it's not bad. Yeah, that marked it down like ninety percent. So this would be nice. And that's a whole storyline. That's why I like trade paperbacks. So that was a nice little set for me for my my late 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 birthday gift you know regular comics get signed uh nice little weird genre of magical girl fighting iron man a full little story the armor war storyline which i've heard great things about so yeah you know as i've said many times before you should sign up for tfaw.com things from another world there's plenty of things you can buy this is not a paid video though once they did send me some free stuff which is pretty sweet I wonder how they got my address. 
but yeah, you can get discounts and different things. When you pre-order stuff, it gives you a little bit of a discount. So you're getting stuff a lot cheaper than if you would normally if you just went in and bought it somewhere. So as I said, sign up, get some free things or discounts, birthday, get some swag, you know. Always like the video, like, share, subscribe, you know, do that thing, click the bell notification, let me know what you think, and I'll see you again. Bye.